Good morning, Internet. Welcome to another adventure. Today, I'm with six foot four Honda. Long way from home, man. No snow plows out here. None. You know where we're going today? Where? I'm going to take you to San Diego. Four? I'm going to get you a California burrito. Do you know what a California burrito is? Don't. You're going to love it. <laughs> Six foot four Honda. <laughs> Before we head out to San Diego, we gotta go pick up the club, and I wanna introduce you to my buddy Bob. I've heard a lot about Bob. Before we head to San Diego, I'm gonna take six foot four Honda to meet Bob. I hear some of you guys are leaving some stuff in the pockets, which is cool. Why did I choose to take 644 Honda to get a California burrito? For one, 644 Honda really want to go down to San Diego. It's from Canada. It's never been down there. And also, the California burrito originated in San Diego. And there's also kind of a third reason. Up in Canada, there's a stuff up there. It's called poutine. It's like a bowl of french fries with gravy and mashed potatoes or cheese and a bunch of different variations of french fries, right? Well, that's kind of what a California burrito is. For those of you guys that don't know, what a California burrito is, it's typically a really big tortilla filled with carne asada, which is steak, with cheese, sour cream, and french fries. Get out of my way, Prius. How you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, sure. All the way from Vegas. You came all the way from Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Good to see you. Absolutely. Six foot four. This is Bob. Yeah, I've heard so much about you, man. No, I'm not good. Yeah. It looks like we got some stuff in his pockets. Oh, man, there's a bunch of stuff. All right. People are leaving money in here. Are they? Let's look. I got a lottery ticket. You got to be kidding me. Let's see if these are winners. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start it <laughs> no winners, but what do we got? This is better than a P.O. box, man. Sub D. Merry Christmas, dude. Love the videos. Chris. Thanks, Chris. Merry Christmas. Hopefully you had a good time. Shout out to the HB Riders. Came too late for stickers. Ah, uh, Matt, I'll tell you what. I'll put a couple stickers in there for you. And what do we got here? <laughs> Island Time Girl and TR Racer. Thanks for the dollar. You know what we're gonna do with this dog? We're gonna buy six foot four Honda, a soda with it. Hey. All right, oh, and we got this. I don't even have a tape deck or know anyone that does. What up, dude? What's up, buddy, how are you? We're gonna leave this one here for someone. I'm gonna leave Whitney Houston here. Yeah. One there. We're gonna hide one under his hat. What? I will definitely help. All right. And Bob bought this. Yeah, he did. It's on Bob. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> 20 minutes later. What do you want to do, the Ortega or the five? Bro, I don't care. Whatever you decide, I'm following you. All right, we'll just take the five. I don't even know where the five is, dude. Yeah, I do. Five is going to be boring. All right, we'll do Ortega. Yeah. <laughs> Get us to Ortega. It's going to be a long day. Stick with me for a little bit and I'll tell you about the place that we're going to today and why we chose it. Race is on, yo. Who's it gonna be? I think it's gonna be me. I'm gonna win, unless they cheat, which they already are. I win. Thanks, guys.
All right, that was fun. You know what? We got to stop at the lookout. Show six foot four hot with some of them California views. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Right on. I Here, I got a sticker for you. Oh. What up, Club? What's up, homie? I haven't seen you guys since uh, SMM. Six foot four Honda? I know. I was doing <laughs> those videos. How you doing? I was the medic that uh, helped out Iron Rider. Oh, shit. Good seeing you again, man. Good seeing you. Did you shave your kneecaps this morning? Yeah. I've never ridden on roads like this before. We got shit like this all around us, man. So what's this place called? This is the lookout. The lookout? You want to smell my garage door opener? No. We've done Mountain Dews, the Tribuco General Store. We've done Ortega Highway. Now we're at the lookout. So far, so good. What's your favorite so far? Right here? The view alone, man. The view alone. I don't got. I don't have this in Canada. I just, I don't <laughs> you know what you got in Canada? Snow plows and snow. I don't miss it at all, man. <laughs> How you doing? I'm run into you one of these days. Oh, you, you watch the videos? Oh, hell yeah. You and Arson and everybody else. I love, I love your restaurant things. I got a whole list. So wherever I go now, I can go check them out. Hey, nice to meet you. you. You meet the nicest people on a motorcycle. Welcome to Lake Elsinore. I'd consider moving out here if it wasn't so far from everything else. I have a question for you people from Lake Elsinore. Do you guys swim in that lake? I see boats in it every now and then, but I don't know if I've ever seen anybody actually swimming in it. Because I'm bored. See that plastic bag? Normally I would have ran that son of a bitch over, but not this time. I learned my lesson. As usual, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the place that we're going to today. Actually, I'm not. Originally, when I thought about making this video, I was going to try to narrow it down and figure out the birthplace of the California burrito. But after a couple hours of research, I realized nobody knows for sure really where this burrito came from. Everybody can agree that it came from San Diego, but there's several staple Mexican restaurants that kind of claim to be the first. I couldn't decide where to go. Luckily, I came across this website built by this guy that's passionate about these California burritos. He went to every place in San Diego that dishes out California burritos and wrote about them and ranked them. So I went through all the highest ranking ones and I decided on going to a place called La Perna which is right on the beach pretty much. It was given a rank of 8.5 out of 10 for the California burrito. Considering the hundreds of burritos this guy ate and ranked on his website, 8.5 is a real high mark. And that's how I chose what we were going to today. We can't get there soon enough, man. I am starving. Get out of my way, Prius. Pick another lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we drove a long way to get to this place. Praying that it's good. Praying. All right, we're at the burrito factory. Para mi gente Con una pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte Ay, 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 ay Ahora sigo cantando Y sigo gozando Yo sigo cantando Y sigo gozando Para mi gente Con una pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte Ay, 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 ay. Ahora sí. 
right, guys, California burrito, La Perla. What do you think? Man, the fire sauce made it all <laughs> much better, and I think this place knocks Vince's Spaghetti, the place you like so much, off the map. What about you, man? I know you probably had nothing like this in Canada. What do you think? The, I'm saying the fries were perfect, like the, just the fusion of fries. Um, and from where we've been and you've taken me, this is so far my favorite. Um, <laughs> For sure. If it was in Canada, I'd be a frequent. frequent oh my God. I'll tell you, if this place was anywhere near me, dude, I'd, I'd be a frequent flyer. For sure. Rolling a belly, man. Carne asada fries, California burrito all day. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I do upload, be part of that notification squad. Check out SuburbanDelinquent.com. Get all the latest, greatest. I'm always adding new stuff there. Make sure you go over to Six Foot Four Honda's channel. Get his version of today's events as well as our buddy Cleb. All right, guys. Later.